Hello and welcome to our presentation of the program of Schwabe Verlag Basel Berlin. My name is Harald S. Lier. I'm the managing editor of Literary and Cultural Studies with Schwabe Verlag. My name is Christian Barth. I'm responsible for the philosophy program at Schwabe. First of all, let me tell you some facts about our publishing house. Schwabe Verlag is the oldest publishing house in the world, founded in 1488 in the city of Basels in Switzerland. We are focusing on monographs, series, and academic journals in most fields of the humanities. Our main subject areas are classical studies, including archaeology, philosophy, history, and literary and cultural studies. In 2017, Schwabe opened a branch in Berlin to be closer to our partners in Germany. We publish about 120 titles per year, ranging from highly specialized monographs to volumes that aim at a broader audience. Most works are available both in print and electronic formats, but we are also actively pursuing large database projects. We also advocate open access publications and distribute our titles either via our electronic library on www.schwabeonline.ch or with competent partners such as Nomos eLibrary. And now for some of our program highlights. Yeah, I'll start. And I'd like to first draw attention um, to our new research series entitled Philosophical Studies in Ancient Thought. It's a new series edited by Professor Beatrice Linemann from University of Erlangen-Nürnberg, Professor Christian Pfeiffer from University of Toronto, and Professor Christoph Rapp from Ludwig Maximilians Universität Munich. And this series assembles and collects high quality work on ancient philosophy, written in English or in German language, and ranging from the pre-Socratics to Aristotelianism, Platonism, even to Hellenism and Roman philosophy and late antiquity. The series pays particular attention to works that systematically evolve the approaches in ancient philosophy or link them to later historical thinkers, schools, and debates. The first two volumes will come out this year. Volume one, addresses a classical topic in Aristotelian philosophy, namely Aristotle's view of self-motion. It will probably come out in March. And the second volume of the new series will come out in June. It's written by Fabian Ruge and it addresses a detailed or it gives a detailed analysis of the Stoic theory of proof. The next uh, series we would like to draw your attention to is the world-renowned Corpus Vasorum Antiquorum. CVA is an international research project that aims at exploring and publishing antique ceramics. Its Swiss part is being published by Schwabe Verlag. So far, we have brought forward 11 volumes the latest one in December of 2020, which covers 38 vases, which are kept in the Museum of Antiques and Ludwig Collection in Basels. This volume is available in an open access edition, as well as in printed volume form, of course. And the next work from the philosophy program I would like to highlight here is in fact the largest German speaking, speaking publication on the history of philosophy, namely the Grundriss der Geschichte der Philosophie, or in English, the outline of the history of philosophy. More than 25 volumes have been published so far, and more than 20 volumes are about to be published in the upcoming years. The project is dedicated to cover the complete history of philosophy from ancient to contemporary times. And it's also supposed to cover philosophy from different cultural backgrounds, regions, and continents. So several series, they're supposed to cover Asian philosophy, African philosophy, as well as North, Middle, and South American philosophies are at a conception stage at the moment. 
The series on Greek and Roman ancient philosophy uh, has already been completed. It covers in five volumes and more than 6,000 pages, the philosophical developments from the pre-Socratics to the late ancient period. The Grundriss is also available, not only in print, but also as a full text database with sophisticated search functions in our e-library. It can be licensed by institutional licensees such as libraries. And if you would like to learn more about the options of our licenses, please contact our sales and distribution office. The next volume I would like to draw your attention to is by Ilse Hilbold, and it's called Écrire Juliette Ernst, Bibliographie et Sciences de l'Antiquité au XXe siècle. This is the initial volume in a new series, which is called Antiquity After Antiquity. The series offers an innovative platform for studies on antiquity in the modern period. Its thematic interests are the reception of antiquity within modernity, the history of classical scholarship, and the discussion of contemporary concerns as informed by research on the ancient world. Languages of publication are German, English, French, and Italian. The first volume in the series Antiquity After Antiquity was published in November of 2021. It traces the life and work of Juliette Ernst, who was the first copy editor, later managing editor of the journal L'Année Philologique. And also she became the secretary of the Fédération Internationale des Associations d'Études Classiques from its foundation in 1948 up to the year 1974. Madame Ernst devoted her life to furthering the international dialogue between scholars in the various fields of classical studies. The book is written in French and available in an open access edition in our electronic library. And thirdly and finally, I would like to highlight the Augustan lexicon from the philosophy program. The Augustan lexicon is the largest lexicon on Augustine and includes central concepts as well as persons, circumstances of Augustine's work, life and thoughts. It is composed of four volumes and the final volume will be completed in June this year. It is also available as a full text database again in our e-library and as mentioned before if you have questions concerning the licensing options, please contact our sales and distribution office. There is another uh, volume which I would like to specifically point out to you. It's written by Konrad Steinmann and called Nachklänge, Instrumente der griechischen Klassik und ihre Musik, or translated in English as Resonances, Instruments of Greek Classicism and their Music. This book is a truly unique blend of different approaches to a central field of study on classical antiquity. The author is a musician and long-standing teacher at the renowned Schola Cantorum Basiliensis. His lifelong fascination with the music of Greek antiquity not only led him to collect, present and discuss a broad variety of textual and pictorial traces of this craft, as well as of its artifacts, but he also engaged in the attempt to recreate the sound of the music by reconstructing instruments like the aolos or the lyre and bringing them to life with his musical ensemble Melpomen. His book is a fascinating journey into the soundscapes of classical Greece, a reconstruction of what music meant and might have sounded like back then. A number of examples of these reconstructions may be heard in sound files. And the last series that we would like to present to you today is Current Issues in Ancient Medicine, or SIAM. This new series, which Schwabe is about to launch this summer, makes available both in print and digitally on open access, the results of current research on ancient medicine from antiquity to the Renaissance. The series publishes in the major languages of global scholarly communication, not only monographs and collective volumes,
but also critical editions, translations, and commentaries, all peer reviewed by an international committee of readers. In the variety of its approaches, ranging from philology to the history of science and the history of ideas, the series reflects and speaks to a varied interest group of the contemporary readers in ancient medicine. The series editors are Brigitte Moir at the Université de Lausanne and Nathalie Rousseau at Sorbonne University in Paris. They are also editing volume one of the series Siam, which is entitled Écriture, Réécriture et Citation, Les Procédés de Composition des Textes Médiaux Antiques. The book will explore the genesis and the development of medical treatises from classical Greek through Imperial Roman times up to the Middle Ages in both Western and Eastern Europe, and thus lay open the transmission of medical knowledge over the course of history. The book is due to appear in June of 2022. Thank you for your attention. Thank you and bye-bye.